Uh, Lisa Cortez Martinez, I'd like to know if you've been approached to sing a duet. I think it would be great to hear you sing with a female artist. If so, who would it be? Um, I've done a few duets already. Lisa, you're not paying attention. Um, I've sung, not a lot, but I've sung uh, duets with uh, Lara Fabian, who's a beautiful and amazing singer from uh, Montreal. Um, I did a duet with Tony Braxton a couple of years ago, which was really awesome. Um, Donna Lewis and I had a big hit together from uh, Anastasia, the movie Anastasia, with that song at the beginning. Um, the only other girl I've sung with that I can think of is Vince Gill. <laughs> no, I've sung with Vince Gill, though. He's one of my favorite people in the world and favorite singers. And um, So, yeah, I've done a few duets along the way. I mean, I'm always open to it. I think it's, I think it can be a really cool thing. Um, Amy Bowman or Bowman Jones. How did the bromance between you and Matt Nathanson begin? Who started it? Um, I think it started on uh, J-Day. Pretty sure. I think I answered Matt's ad in, on J-Day. Uh, Matt Nathanson and I actually met very briefly in New York City at, at, in a record company office probably 10 years ago. Um, maybe more. And he was just kind of getting his career going and we talked about writing together and it never materialized. And I don't remember whether I just didn't follow up or he didn't follow up, but so neither of us did. Um, and I've been thrilled to see that he's done well in his career. And so anyway, we just sort of reconnected. And now we talk, you know, we, we've only really hung out once. And I don't know that we're going to work together, but he's a fun guy to hang out with. We, uh, we met up and went and had coffee in L.A. last time I was there, and he happened to be there. And uh, a quick little coffee hang turned out to be like two and a half hours of just nonstop yakking. So he's a good guy, funny. So uh, yeah, he's cool. I, I guess you could call it a bromance. <laughs>